All right, Shalom, I'm Mikey. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honey, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukah Kodash. I want to give double honors to the positive of Great Millstone, Shalom, to the elect, and teach his word, not true faith, sincerity. And yeah, man, today, uh, I just want to title this lesson, The Circle. You know, uh, matter of fact, before I even get into it, let me just, um, let me just type that, that phrase up. Bear with me, Akim. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. I think this definition number two will get the best understanding. Uh, so this circle and this uh, definition number two. It says a group of people with shared professions, interests, or acquaintances. See, so <clears throat> it says a uh, group, set, ring, company, body. See, that one body, man. It says culture, click. Let's go to this word. Culture. It says a small group of people with shared interests or tastes, especially one that is that is exclusive of other people, you know. So let's see. Uh, let's go back from on. Uh, okay. I mean, but we know the meaning of um the circle that that click, you know, because um that's what that's what the Lord. That's the reason why He had the scriptures set in parables, you know, such as uh you got a a, a brother. Uh, cousin or friend, whoever the case may be, you got a, a, a inside joke, you know, a, a word or some a certain phrase, and you know you two start laughing, and the the person, the, you know, the the person that that overheard the conversation of ill hustling, hey, they'll be like, what what are they laughing about? They they said this or they said that, and even if you if they told you about it. You still wouldn't get it, man, because you you're not part of that circle. You weren't part of that uh that uh that that uh uh that 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 that, that click, man. Best way I can put it, you know. So um, I'm gonna start off with Matthew thirteen, Matthew the thirteenth chapter, and um because the Lord, when it was a large multitude, He always spoke unto them in, in uh in parables, man. You know because uh. He's considered as a, a little sanctuary. The Lord is, is a little sanctuary. He, he's not looking for uh, all Israel to come in right now, man. You know? So this is Matthew 13 and 1. Let me kind of jump around a little bit. So this is, it says, uh, it said, The same day went Yahweh shot out of the house and sat by the seaside, and great multitudes were gathered together unto him, so that he went into a ship and sat, and the whole multitude stood on the shore. So yeah, the Lord... It was, a, it was a large multitude. So what he did, he he, he stayed in the ship and, and talked to him from um from off the ship, man. And he spake many things unto them in parables. Yeah, so that's that's the thing. That's the, that's that's the point I want to get. He spoke unto them in parables, man. So um we're gonna kind of dig into that into that uh to parables. Let's see, um, like I'm already in the blue letter. <laughs> it says, uh, let's see. It's parables. It's uh parabola. Parabola. The scroll G thirty eight fifty. And it says, um, a placing of one thing by the side of another, just just to position as ships in a as of ships in a battle. So let's see what just to position is. It says just 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 to position is a placing two elements. It's placing two elements or words side by side and letting the reader or viewer compare them. This act compares and contrasts the two elements and can show irony, humor, or sadness. So the Lord, he was a spiritual man. Everything he did was is, is spiritual, man. You know, so 
the the, the parables it, it was it, it everything the lord did was heavy man the only way i can put it you know and when he talked to them in parables it, it wasn't meant for the people to get it man for the for the, uh, the the majority of the people the masses so to speak you know it says uh definition num uh, number two metaphor it says a comparing comparison of one thing with another likeness similar to an example by which a doctrine or precept is illustrated a narrative fictitious but agreeable to the laws and usage of human life by which either the duties of men or the things of the most high particularly the nature and history of the most highest kingdom and figuratively uh, portrayed yeah that's what uh scripture says on uh, uh, a spiritual man judges of all things, man. You know, because it's, it's uh e even now we make a uh, different anatomies. You know, I mean, what not anatomies, uh, 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 analogies. You know, that's like a parable, man. You know, this is a parable, an earthly story with an with a heavenly meaning. See, a a a a a pithy and instructive saying involving some likeness or comparison, and having perceptive and and monetary force and aphorism let's see what that says so that aphorism is is a brief sentence or a phrase that expresses an opinion or makes a statement of wisdom spoken or written aphorism literally means definition the term was first coined by hypocrites in a work appropriately titled aphorism the aphorism examples below are conveying some truth okay so see a maxim let's see what a maxim is it says a uh, maxim catering to the modern man with content that promise to seduce entertain and continually surprise readers yeah because these, these these uh these parables man that uh they're beautiful man you know and, and and uh it 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 uh it keeps us going man when we uh read these scriptures man because we understand them and and that's a privilege to understand these scriptures man you know because like going to this lesson now he he spoke to them in parables you know he said a proverb an act by which one exposes himself or his possessions to danger adventure and risk okay that's all right so let's see um uh, Let's go back to this. I got another precept lined up, but I want to get some real quick. It says he spoke, he spoke, he spake many things to them in parables. So let's jump down to verse, verse nine. It says, "He who have ears to hear, let him hear." So if you got the understanding, uh, eat it, man. If 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 if, if your if your ears are open to this, eat it, man. Digest it if you can. If 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 if. if, if the, Lord put the spirit on you to, to understand his word. You know, it says, um, and the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Yeah, because the disciples like, damn, you know. You know, Lord, he's teaching, but he's he's making it hard for the people to understand. You know, that's why they asked him that, because they he's making it hard for the people to understand, man. We you know, going read it jump up to back to verse three he was talking about the parable of the sword man you know but it says um why speaks down to them in parables verse 11 it said he answered and said unto them because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven but unto them it is not given so yeah the lord he set it up to where it ain't just uh just talking about matthew's 13th chapter it's throughout the whole scriptures man is is a, is a, is a parabolic. Some things you could take literal. Some things you could take figuratively, you know. But you got to have the spirit of discernment. Really, you how about Shmuel Shaka? I'd be really dealing with you to understand this, this uh these scriptures, man. Now I'm gonna jump down to verse thir um Matthew 13 and 16. It says, "The blessed are your eyes for they see, and your ears for they hear." Yeah, man. Because uh um, if we we can see these scriptures, man, we we can really see uh these scriptures for what they are. And, and, and saying your ears to hear because uh, uh, when they was really when they were being broken down to us the correct way as the scripture have said we was able to understand it man you know but uh, I want to get a point because um 
the Lord, he, 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 uh, let's see, Lord heaven, man, that's all I can say, you know, and, and, and I can understand this, this truth, man, because a, uh, a lot of people can't get this, can't get it, man, the Lord shut that door to, to their, to their mind to not understand this, man, you know, and he, he made it even harder by, by putting in a, uh, and putting in parables, man. But this is um this is Ezekiel chapter 17, and I'm gonna start at verse 1. It says, And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, put forth a riddle and speak a parable unto the house of Israel. See, man, so the Lord he 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 told Ezekiel to 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 to, to um put a riddle and speak a parable unto the house of Israel. Now did all Israel uh was gonna know what that means? No, man. You know, so we're going to go into that word riddle, man. So this is on uh, Scrounge Ace twenty four twenty. It's on uh, Kaida. Kaida. It says on uh, a uh, riddle, difficult question, parable. It enigmatic, en enigmatic state, uh, saying or question, per perplexing saying or question. So let's see what enigmatic means. Bear with me, Akim. It says, uh, resembling an enigma or a puzzling current situation statement, person perplexing, mysterious. See, she has had a perpetually enigmatic expression on her face. So it says, what is in it? Um, okay, let's go back uh, to perplexing. Perplexing, it says, uh, to cause to be puzzled. Or bewildered over what is not understood or certain, confused mentally, her strange response perplexed me. It says to make complicated or confused as a matter or question. See, man, because that's what the Lord set it up to where uh, 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 it's, it's going to be hard for you to understand. If, if it ain't, if that's why uh, the, it, it, it's, you know. Why I try to look for uh, uh, a large crowd, man? That means that you're not in you're not in the same spirit. How about Shema Hashem? Because the Lord, He talked to him in parables, because He He's gonna uh, <clears throat> how you say it? The, the only ones that's gonna get it is the ones that were, that was chosen from the beginning, man. You know, just like uh, you look at these different movies or these cartoons, they got that um. That magic word they say, and they wake up. You know that's how the scriptures is. One thing were being broken down the correct way. If you can't get it, it wasn't meant for you to get. It. You want you want the chosen. You know, it says riddle, dark, obscure utterance, riddle, enigma to be guessed, perplexing questions, double dealing with with having. So it said perplexing questions. It says difficult. Yeah, because really you have to be taught, man. You gotta be taught with these uh, to, to understand these scriptures, man. You know. So uh, let's see. Let's get some scriptures, man. Uh, this is Proverbs one, starting at verse five. This is uh, a wise man will hear and will increase learning. See, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel. So you have uh, ears to hear. Yeah, you know I mean, you you will increase learning because you you're able to uh, digest this word, man. They said a man understanding will attain to wise shall attain to wise counsels. Well, you gotta understand who who, who the uh, who who are the wise man, you know, because uh 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 it's, it's not the wisdom of this world, you know, not the wisdom of this world. Uh, trying to go to your pastor uh uh, uh Jenkins, yeah, I mean, and, and only thing he says just put more uh money in the tights and you'll do better, man. Well, that's not attaining to wise counsels, man, you know. Start starting with the apostles, great millstone. That's hey man, that's 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 wise counsel. That's who you need to be hearkening to, man. You know why? Because they're gonna break down those uh matter of fact it says to understand a proverb and interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. Yeah, because all that is um being brought out now, man. And it says their dark sayings, yeah, because throughout the scripture it's it's filled with dark sayings, man. And you can't you can't tap into that on your own. I let the spirit of power you have by smell shots dealing with you. But guess what? Even in that, it's an order, man. 
you know, a lot of things uh, you're going to be taught and then it's going to get to a certain point where you, where you learn this, where you're able to, 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 to go into this, you know, certain breakdowns. Uh, you uh, you uh, you get you understand will help you understand another breakdown, man. You know, and I tell you know it said the fear of the Lord Yahweh by Shemuel Shai is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Yeah, because you fear, man. You can't just uh uh uh, uh what's the word carelessly uh deal with this word, man. You you can't you can't carelessly do deal with this word. You gotta make sure you're on point with everything you bring out, man. You know? Okay, so let's see. Uh, what was the other scripture? I'm going to get. Uh, I think that was pretty much it. I can. Um, let me see. Was it more on this right here? Dark is scared. Um, I, I think that was pretty much it, Aki, man. Um, I think I got one more precept. I got one more precept. I just. See, I went into that Matthews. I think that was pretty much it, Akim. I just hope it was edifying. Yeah, I just want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakodash. And until the next time, Akim, I just want to say Shalom.